morning everyone. I hope you're all wonderful today. I probably won't turn this into a musical. Uh, it's been uh, so nice over the last kind of few days. Weather-wise, well it's not really nice but it's been dry. And at the range the guys here have managed to kind of get out and cut it all after not being able to get out there all winter because of the rain. And it, just when it's getting better it starts so I was chucking it down again, which is unfortunate, but I think tomorrow's meant to be nice and then, I don't know, after that, I'm not that far in advance. Never looked too far in advance. So, on the agenda for today, I've got lessons from now till about, I think five, well, from an hour's time till about five. One includes a playing lesson. Hopefully the weather will clear up by then. Don't really don't really uh, enjoy it when my sessions are getting um, sessions are getting rained on while I'm while I'm telling them stuff as well. Uh, so hopefully hopefully the weather picks up a little bit. But now I'm going to do a little bit of practice. I also got some new toys actually. Um, sure set golf. Send me through this, which you can kind of set to different positions and can help with width and stuff like that. I'm not looked into it too much, but thank you very much for firing that through to me. Much appreciated. So I've got an hour before my first lesson and I'm gonna have a little bit of a practice. And the plan for today is practice on my long game um, for an hour now, do all my sessions, um, smash it, make everyone better, make everyone happy. Go over to St. Anne's Old Links for the playing lesson. Come back here, focus on my wedge play. Actually get my distances nailed down. And then from there, tomorrow, a full day on the course if the weather's nice. Because my next event is at St. Anne's Old Links in a Mantle Series Pro-Am. So, pretty busy today. Lots of golf. Start contrast from the last quest vlog. So, hopefully you enjoy it. Right. Practice. Uh, working. Couple shots in and kind of hit everything I want to. <laughs> so, I'm really kind of focusing again just more on impact. Um, I'm using this training aid still, this tall striker training aid, just to try and minimise the amount of hand action I have at impact and also in my backswing just get a little tiny a little bit more upright with my wrist hinge rather than going around my body it's quite nice because those are the two main parts of the swing I'm focusing on and it does seem to be paying dividends uh, backswing seems to be giving me more consistency um, within the overall technique and delivering the club a lot more consistently and coming through impact the lack of hand rotation flipping of the hands I used to have Again, it seems to control my ball flight much, much better. So it seems to be going uh, pretty well. But I have only hit two shots this morning. Morning lessons are done, or morning, afternoon, afternoon lessons are done. And now it's time, that just went so fast by the way, that morning, that was cool. Um, playing lesson, it's raining, it's cold. Come on. So we managed to get out for the playing lesson with Guy. Hi Guy. <laughs> He's not naturally very shy. I didn't actually tell him I was gonna press record. I'm not having a lot of time so far, the weather is, Seems to be kind of clearing up a little bit. Just a little bit. And Guy's going to give us this lovely swing here where he's taking it straight. No, no. More rounded in that takeaway. And then holding the finish. Good man. I want to see that same rhythm, please. Not the right half of the fairway here, but so we're all leveling the match that we're playing as we go around as well. Oh, what a shot! Oh, what a shot. Guys, I hope that sounded as good on the camera as it did in real life. That was unbelievable. That was a great shot, that, buddy. But you enjoyed that one, didn't you? Well, I've just played the best chip shot of my life with the wrong ball. <laughs> that helped it. Proper match now. <laughs> Proper match after that shot. Unbelievable. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, 
see on the green. <laughs> so I'm back from my playing lesson and I'm on the GC2. And it's time to get my wedge game sorted. So what I'm actually going to do is I've... Over the last few years, I've not really worked on my wedge distances that much. Just simply because I've not been playing, but... This year is something that myself and Rick, we both identified that we need to nail absolutely down. So I'm going to try and keep it nice and simple. I'm going to work on three swing lengths, so a half swing length, which kind of takes me... Let's set you up, hey? Let's make this a little bit more, more easy for you guys. So if it's a little bit messy to begin with. So three swing lengths, nice and simple. So I'm going to have a half swing length, so left arm getting parallel to the ground, hinged up, three quarter and a full. So three swing lengths with my wedges. You're going to use GC2 to really nail down what those distances are. Um, I'm going to kind of hit 10 shots with each using decent balls to try and judge those distances correct. I'm going to jot them down and then I'm just going to work at targets to those distances. Simple as, really. And it's something that I've not done for a while and I'm really looking forward to doing. So I'm going to crack on with that. I've got four wedges in my bag. So I've got my, well, from my log wedge down to my pitching wedge. All the different degrees on there. And I'm just going to blast away. Simple as. Right, so that was nice and uh, simple, easy enough. Clubs and lengths, and those are my wedge distances. Now, those kind of wedge distances there, they don't account for different ball positions, or if I'm trying to hit it high or low, that's your centre of the shaft. Centre of the shaft? <laughs> centre of the stance. Centre of the club, mostly. Um, and then just going from kind of there, so it's not kind of, I wasn't trying to play any kind of special shot, so I might have to work on those as well. But what I'm gonna do now is by using kind of these two systems, Flyscope and, and GC2, I'm gonna set targets out on the range and then practice hitting to them. Love technology, it's good, really good. Okay, done with the pitch, it did a little bit more long game then as well. Cheeky, I know, but did it. Um, and I'm going to finish up with some chipping, and I've got lots of kind of little targets here. So I've got kind of a post there, post there, post there, and I'm just going to go to every one of them. So what I've been actually doing in my um, wedge play, which I don't think I've actually mentioned before on, on video of my chipping, is I'm just trying to get my actual shots to be a lot more accurate with my wedges because something which I have done pretty much all the time I've golfed I, my distance control with wedges when I've been practicing has always been pretty good but my accuracy hasn't been that great actually setting the ball off online which sounds maybe a bit strange because with a really lofted club you should be able to get it off accurate and it's, it's right it's one failing of my game so that's what I'm working on at the moment and really simple the way I'm doing it is I'm imagining a line kind of drawn from my ball down towards the target. And all I'm trying to do is take the club back pretty much along that line, although it will come a little bit on the inside just because of the way the swing plane works. But then as I come down, what I'm really concentrating on is impacting the ball, trying to bring the club pretty straight in and just getting, and just <laughs> simply as, imagining that line and just trying to get the club face pointing straight at that line and straight at the target. And it's a very simple way of thinking about things. But as you can kind of see from the way that that ball's kind of taking off towards my target, it does seem to be working. Um, yeah, and that's, uh, that's about it. I mean, the rest of my technique, I've always been a pretty good kind of technician. My stop. I've always been a pretty good technician as far as my technique goes actually moving my shoulders kind of back and through, keeping the triangle, not kind of flicking the wrist too much. That's always been something good within my wedge game. And now I'm kind of happy that I'm managing to get that a little bit more accuracy as well. Oh, can you imagine if it would have hit last time? Oh, I'm happy though.
warning, and I don't want anyone to lose their minds. I don't want anyone to get too excited, because I know I am. It's finally, finally warm enough at the end of March to only be wearing two layers. I have a t-shirt and a jumper on, and that's it. That's all I've got. So I'm going on to say that I'm going to do a load of practice on my putting, a load of uh, short game stuff generally, and then getting out to play, and then doing some uh, doing some filming all at the same time. It's going to be a good, good day today. Look at these boys here off to a wedding. How cool's that? How cool's that for a transport to get to a wedding? That's awesome. So one problem with bank holidays in the UK: sunny weather. It's a lovely day in Lytham today. There's the windmill. But this is the issue. Traffic, 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 traffic. How long have we been on the road for now? So I've been going about kind of 40 minutes. It's normally like a 20 minute drive and I'm still not that near the golf club. Oh, what an absolutely gorgeous evening here. So I've just done uh, like the Spieth putting test. Well, hot, pretty much half of it, and my back's knackered. Oh God, I was, I've not done it since last year, and I forgot how much work it actually was. Um, but I'm gonna go out on the course now and do a bit of on-course filming. Some kind of on-course tips, which I've not done for a while, so I'm kind of looking forward to actually getting out there and doing them. Uh, and they'll be appearing Maybe already got one up, but they'll be appearing over the next week or so, anyway. Possibly. Hi, Isaac. That again is another absolute cracker. Oh my, well it's been an amazing evening filming here at St. Anne's Old. I managed to get a kind of load of videos done on kind of on course situations and different types of shots you can play on the course which I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm happy I could finally kind of get those polished off and done. Uh, playing pretty well, it's been a good couple of days golf wise, I managed to cram a hell of a lot in. Tomorrow, I, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm coaching uh, all day and then having a, a bit of an evening off tomorrow evening so I'm not gonna be able to do kind of a massive amount of filming tomorrow night but hopefully all this uh, hopefully all this practice will pay off the next competition here uh, is here at St. Anton Lynch on the 7th so I need to get a few more practice rounds in but what I'm gonna do guys is I'll finish try and get as many angles as possible I'll tell you what I'll let you see this last shot and then we'll go I'll, uh, I will bid a fond farewell. I've been trying a few different, I've been trying the Nike uh, Resin Tour Platinum today, rather than the Resin Black. And uh, yeah, been enjoying that actually. Really, really solid ball. Ooh, glad that's not on my ball. So I'm on the eighth here, I've just a lovely punched guy three wood. And I've got, 106 yards left and I've been doing my gap testing the other day and I know kind of a little three-quarter uh, pitching wedge goes one at 115 and with this wind I think that's going to be about perfect so I'll let you see this one and then we'll go there we go right Nice three quarter controlled. Go, oh, be good. Go, be good. Go, be good. Go, go, be good. Oh. <laughs> that was too controlled. Too controlled. It's ended up just front edge. Got myself about. <laughs> 20 footer that's disappointing right guys thanks for watching 
keep an eye out for these videos which are going to be coming soon they are they are good if I say so myself and we'll see you next time thanks for watching look at that sky you can tell I'm probably in a good mood subscribe just for that <laughs> see you later guys